back in Hawaii's kitchen, and with Halloween just around the corner, I have Jen Ackrell here, and she's with Sky Waikiki, also uh, the top of Waikiki, top of Waikiki right? Yeah. As the mixologist extraordinaire. Now, I'm excited because we've changed it around. We're making another drink. What are we making today? We are making the Living 808 Pau Hana Latte. I love you. Oh. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. No, because I was thinking of you guys. Well, because we love our coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, we love our coffee. But you're going to take it up a notch with this one, right? There's not anything that girls love more than uh, the fall time of year because that uh, hints to the arrival of the pumpkin spice latte. Hashtag PSL. Yes, That's right. It's, mm -hmm. it's a real thing. It is. So <laughs> we're going to make a grown up version of the pumpkin spice latte. I said pumpkin. Oh, wow. Pumpkin spice latte. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a grown up version of that using some bourbon. Um, you can switch out the bourbon, you can use rum, or you can use vodka too. It oh, works just as well. Awesome. So we wanted this to be an approachable drink for everyone. And speaking of approachable, though, this you can also do without alcohol, right? You can, you can do you a little can. bit of just that coffee and go for it. Yeah, right? just increase the coffee a little bit, like increase it. the syrup a little bit, and increase the soda a little bit, and you can have the same same flavors profile, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but just with no booze. I love it. If you have to drive, you know. That's right. And again, over the holiday, again, if you're coming down, make sure you have a designated driver. There's taxis all through Waikiki. Uber it. You guys yeah. have a good time. There's well, tons of parking at Sky, too. So, true. And I believe if you do have, like, one too many, you can't leave your car overnight. That is true. <laughs> and also, too, I know the great thing about you guys, if you have a designated driver and you let the bartender know, you get free sodas all night, yeah. which is a great policy that everything has. So, I'm so sorry. We got a little bit of that. What do we have right here? This here is a, uh, it's a pumpkin syrup that I made last night. Um, Oddly, uh, there's there's no pumpkin on the island right now. Yeah. It's, there's a shortage, and so... We're um, lucky that you were able to get some. You know what I did? I faked it, and I used um, a little bit of uh, sweet potatoes no instead kidding. of pumpkin. Yeah, there's a, something wrong with the pumpkin crop. See, this is amazing, though, because as a mixologist, you really are creating... I mean, creating on the fly. On the fly. I on love fly. it. Okay, so a little... Uh, a little half heavy half cream, half? yeah, mm -hmm. and we're going to go back to that egg again. I don't think every drink I've made today has an egg in it. You know, it. and try to go back to that, because as, as a mixologist studying drinks from cocktails back in the Prohibition side, did they use egg whites yeah. and things? Really? Yeah. Wow. So this is just kind of coming back around and getting reintroduced. All back in fashion I again. Love it. So I we're going to put a little bit of ice in here. We're going to do that same little shake maneuver we did the last time. Uh -huh. We might have to shake this a little bit more because it has some, oh, hello, it has some cream in it. Mm -hmm. So you want that to get emulsified. That's and okay. So we're going to put it on there. So we're going to shake it. Be loud. Mm -hmm. That's all right. And remember, when we're shaking, if you're shaking, you got to shake your legs down to the because again, the nightlife there is amazing. The dance floor, I've been on that dance floor. Beautiful view. And you're talking to in the fall when that sunset kind of oh, angles so right perfect. over there. there. It's absolutely just perfect. behind the Waianae Mountain as it comes out around the ocean there. It's Except absolutely perfect. straight out in front of us. Okay, so this is the first shake we yeah, did. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. we're going to do the reverse dry shake again. I'm going to put that little collection of ice and egg in there. You know, I hope people realize too at home, you know, sometimes you're at the bar and you're maybe enjoying the view at Sky. Mm -hmm. You don't realize how much work actually goes into a drink. You I know, mean, you, this is a lot that you guys have to do. It is, but you know, when it's, when it's fun, it's it's not really that much work. That's a good way when you to put love it. what you do, it's not that much. I love that. That's a great way to put it. True. Okay, cool. All right. So we're gonna do this. So we have to put a little bit of soda water mm -hmm. into. Ooh, oh. You're good. You're <laughs> okay. Good. That was <laughs> hilarious, right? So we're gonna put a little bit of soda water into the glass. Okay. So this style of cocktail is called a lift. And what you do is you have a little bit of egg and a little bit of uh, cream in there. Mm -hmm. And and comes see what happens, yeah. All right, well, after we head to the break, we're going to come back a little bit later to learn about more about, well, what you should have in your home bar at home for the holidays, because this is the lady that knows at all the tips. Remember, Sky Waikiki, and we'll try some of these drinks as we come back. I can't oh, wait. Gosh, that looks good. <laughs> super fun.